We turn now to Uvalde, Texas, where a school police officer was fired today. It happened within hours of a report which revealed she was among hundreds of officers facing criticism for their response to the school massacre in May that claimed 21 lives. Here's CBS's Lilia Luciano. He's in the back room on the, on the far inside. Crimson Elizondo was among the first officers to respond to the Robb Elementary School shooting on May 24th. The former Texas trooper is seen in this video walking into the school, awaiting instructions as terrorized children were inside. After the massacre was over, Elizondo can be heard speaking to a fellow officer in a video published by CNN. If my son had been in there, yeah. in the, I would not have been outside, I promise you that. It's sickening. As a parent, how do you, how do you say that, you know, how do you not just go in. Despite parents like Brett Cross demanding the district terminate or suspend any school police officer who had been at the scene, the Uvalde School District hired Elizondo to patrol the schools after leaving the Texas Department of Public Safety. Documents obtained by CBS News show in late July, DPS had notified the Uvalde School District that Elizondo was under investigation by the agency's Office of the Inspector General for actions inconsistent with training requirements. The district hired her anyway. But the recent audio release prompted the Uvalde School District to fire the officer this morning, saying, we sincerely apologize to the victims' families and the greater Uvalde community for the pain this revelation has caused. Red Cross is about to reach his 10th day of protest outside of the school district offices, demanding that every one of the school resource officers be suspended until the end of the investigations. Of the 90 or so DPS officers who showed up on May 24th, seven of them are under investigation. Just two have been suspended. Elizondo has not made any comments. Lilia Luciano, who's been covering this story from the beginning, thank you.